Live from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Hello, this is the Hot Topic Show. What do we do? We won't judge, but we're judging. It's going to be Drew Let's get started. It's time for Hot Topic. Excited to get together with Madam Secretary today. Yeah. You know, Patina Miller. She's been here before, but that's when she um, she performed because she was um, in Sister Act, and she performed, but she didn't sit on the couch. I didn't get a chance to talk to her. So now she's got this big hit show. It's in its third season, and she's gonna sit on the couch. We're gonna get to know her more. She's cute, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And. Today is National Chewing Gum Day. Oh. I've shared this with you before, but I'll share it again. First of all, I love gum. I love it. And every once in a while, before the sweetness runs out, <laughs> and it tastes real good, yeah. I let it slide down my throat. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one as an adult who still sometimes swallows gum. Does anybody here clap if you still sometimes? Really? Like, right before the sweetness goes away. You, it's like, mmm. Anyway, so, um, and we have a very special surprise in the show, so stick around for Gum Day. Okay. All right. So there's a person coming in between Bradley Cooper and his model girlfriend, Irina Shayk, and it's not his um, overbearing mother, Gloria, who I've never met, but I love her. You know, but, but he's a real mama's boy, and Gloria, is, is, she's like a Budinsky, you know what I mean? But the woman um, shaking things up is uh, Lady Gaga. Well, now this is a problem, Irina, dear. Bradley and Gaga are co-starring in the remake of A Star Is Born. Ooh. And Gaga is playing the role of Barbara Streisand. Ooh. And Bradley is playing the role of Chris Christopherson. Ooh. But in addition to that, it's his first uh, time directing a movie. So he's directing and starring and, and Gaga's on the, on the set. And reportedly, they, they've gotten very close off the set. Sources are saying that Gaga has feelings for Bradley. Oh. Well, she's just a girl like the rest of us. She just broke up with her fiance, Taylor. They were together for five years. I don't know what she did with the ring. That's not what the story's about. Although in the back of my mind, I wonder, did, did she give it back? Do you keep it? Do you make it a brooch? Like, what do you do with it? Um, but the thing is, is that, you know, the best way to get over somebody is to get under somebody new. You know? <laughs> I mean... 
that doesn't fix everything, but it certainly creates a nice distraction, <laughs> correct? And so now they've been spotted riding Bradley's motorcycle together. Now you know when you ride a bike, you hold on tight. <laughs> it's hot, yes. but dangerous. They went to the grocery store. Now that, that's a pretty big deal. Like when you look, I don't know whether he's looking at her or the paparazzi. Her headlights are on. <laughs> She's wearing no bra. She's got on her Daisy Dukes. But she's the one carrying the bag. Bradley, you can. Why aren't you carrying the bag? Well, maybe she doesn't care. Anyway, here's why to me, Irina should worry. Even though Irina is close with um, Gloria, you know, but this is his first time directing, so he's gonna have angst about that. Is this movie gonna go well? If it goes well, then he and Gaga share something that he and Irina will never share, and that is being on that set every day. Him directing and co-starring oh. along with her. If it goes well, they celebrate together. Yeah. In a different way than he can celebrate with Irina because you know, Bradley and Gaga, you know, it's like being lost at sea when you make a movie. If the movie does poorly, then they commiserate together. Yeah. Either way, this is not good. Irina, Stay on your birth control. <laughs> well, yeah, look, look, you don't wanna get pregnant at this time because you don't know where this relationship is going to go. So stay on that. Also, um, don't show up at the set. As a matter of fact, show up at the set only when he requests. This is the reason why. When you show up, that's like, you know, insecure girl looking and spying. And then he'll get all pissed like, you know, well maybe the movie failed because you were there, you know, breathing on my neck every day or whatever. You know what? Th the truth will come out in the wash, Irina. If in fact he does have something or perhaps later on will have something going on with Gaga, it'll be found out and we here at Hot Topics will be here to tell you. So Gladys Knight is, well, no, she's fighting a battle with her own son, who, okay, so um, his name is Shanga, and he's 38, and his father is a music mogul by the name of Barry Hankerson. Yes. Um, so Gladys gave Shanga permission to put her name on his chicken and waffle restaurant in Atlanta. If you live in Atlanta, you know Gladys Knight chicken and waffles. Only that's Shanga's chicken and waffles and he's just using his mom's name to propel, you know, the, the, the sales. But, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, mom and son. But now um, Gladys wants her name removed from the business because the son, Shanga, is being accused of tax evasion. Oh. <laughs> I love when a story can be told through just a picture alone. <laughs> and stealing funds. But her son is refusing to remove Gladys's name. So now here's where the fight comes in. You know, the son says that Gladys lacks the mental capacity. I know, I know. To change their agreement. And their agreement was, you know, son, you can use my name, but I think that agreement runs out in like January or something. No, it ran out. It ran out already. Uh, but then they just kind of like kept a, it going and yeah, floating. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, um, Shanga, I'll tell you. 
I don't know what you're doing with your taxes. And you know, it's always very sad when parents and their children don't get along, especially over something so simple like this. This seems pretty simple. No one is going there at this point. Uh, back when I did eat chicken, <laughs> I can tell you the chicken is very delicious. <laughs> but they're delicious chicken places all over Atlanta. You know, but I, originally I think like when this place first got started, you know, a few years ago, uh, people probably went there because Gladys might have been there to help kick start the business. Not there frying chicken, but maybe you know how, you know, like, hey, welcome, walking around to the table saying, hey, it's me, Gladys, are you enjoying the food? But now that the business has jumped off and doing well, I thought, I don't think people go there anymore thinking that they're gonna see Gladys Knight. I know, do you go to Kenny Rogers Roaster thinking that you're gonna see <laughs> Kenny Rogers? Do you go to Wendy's thinking that you're gonna see Wendy? I mean, no, 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 I mean, no, I mean, Wendy. <laughs> this Wendy. <laughs> yeah, Wendy, Wendy. Um, Gladys, all you have to do is when Shanga goes to bed, right? <laughs> you have your crew go out there and take that sign down and put another one up. And then the next day, have your lawyer go in there and remove all the menus and replace them with menus that just call it chicken and waffles by Shanga or something like that. Um, but I think that it, it's terrible, you know, I would let young Kevin use my name if he ever wanted to for something, but I think that the proper paperwork still needs to be um, set in place. Like, if anything were to ever go awry, here's the fine print at the bottom. <laughs> and it would start with, um. <laughs> look, look, um, you might be my son, <laughs> but, but, if anything goes awry, and I'll be the judge of what a rye is. <laughs> We're done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Viola Davis. I am so shocked, but I love this because this makes you real regular because you're a big star. Nobody would, I'm sorry, my mouth is extra watery. <laughs> Which by the way, you know, when Trump and Hillary were debating, oh. and oh. it's not about their debate, it's about Donald Trump had the dry mouth. <laughs> and they were saying, you know, and we all know this, dry mouth is either, you know, you're real nervous or something else. Whereas the body language, um, you know, analyst who was analyzing them said, on the other hand, a wet mouth means you're real comfortable. Oh, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, so I guess the good news is I'm real comfortable around you all because I stay with a juicy mouth. <laughs> I can't. By the way, Suzanne, I love your sweater. Oh, yes. I and your poem. No, you don't have to go through that. Yeah, I, okay. I love your sweater. Uh -huh. It's nice and warm. I was cold this Can morning. Can I tell you what I really love? Because I see you mostly from the back than from the front when yeah. we do the show. No, you've got the healthiest, most even oh. ends in your ponytail. Can you give Dan ponytail cap? No, don't touch it. Just oh. Look how even, like, like, look, right? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> and you've got a nice kitchen. Oh, I love it. Look at how, how are my edges? <laughs> anyway, so Viola Davis has not forgotten about people who ruined her childhood. Now we all know people like that. If you don't, you miss a lot. You know, maybe you, then you were the bully. You know, in a recent interview, Viola says that she stalks her childhood bullies on Facebook. <laughs> and 
she says she hopes they're living miserable lives. <laughs> to me, that makes her so relatable. I mean, how many of us were bullied when we were younger? But my thing is, is that, like, you don't stalk, you don't even talk to them. You show them by doing better. And when you see them, just flip your wig this way and say, hello. I have to tell you something. There was this, there was this boy that I went to school with from first grade to um, senior year in high school. So I was stuck with him. And he made up a song about me and I'm not gonna cry, but I feel like it inside. But I would never get on Facebook and let him know it bothered me, or I would never like get on Facebook with a snippy comment to him. If I saw him right now out in the street, I would say hello. I might even hug him hello, like sarcastically though, like <laughs> hello. But you wanna hear the song? Yeah! Okay, Shh. Wendy Williams is a fat whale. Wendy Williams is a fat wheel. And he would, he would say that. Um, no, it's not gonna escape. I got a talk show. Uh -huh. yeah. but, but stuff like that is like hurtful. And then there was another girl. Oh. Oh. No, I'm good. And then there, there was another girl and, and she would call me. Um, Coco Crispy. Now you know I was only one of four blacks in my graduating class, and she called me Coco Crispy. Oh. I've seen her since then, though, and I, you know, but I'm a bigger person, so I don't say anything. I would never say anything. Like you know, you get them back by being better. But I, I love that Viola is still affected by that. It's cute. Anyway. The magazines hit the newsstands this week filled with juicy gossip. It's time for Wendy's Got You Covered. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, Rob. Hey, Wendy. William Williams is a oh. fat whale. You're a better person than I am, Wendy Williams. What's his name? Let's say his name. He's dead. Oh. oh. He became a painter of the houses and fell off a ladder. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to happen. Rob! <laughs> Rob! I'm... Stop! All right, look. Rob Shooter is here, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna break down. The hottest covers <laughs> um, of the magazines. Um, and naughty, wait, I'm sorry, naughtygossip.com's Rob Shooter. Say hello to Rob. Hey. I'm totally How are you? Okay. <laughs> nice new set. Thank you, oh, Rob. It's really fancy in here. You, Look you at match this. it. I like the double doors and. Okay, beautiful. Rob. Yes. Brangelina all over the front cover of every magazine this week. <laughs> every magazine. So sometimes each week we go to the newsstands and a couple of the magazines have the same people on them. This week, every single magazine yeah. has Brad and Angelina Jolie. Now, you know things are really juicy uh, when People magazine gets a little bit dishy because they're so nice over there. They never said anything bad. Right? So they're, they're even getting into the action this week. They're saying that um, Brad was no saint and Angelina was no angel. So we know, we know there's, there's trouble there. They, they are insisting at People Magazine that there's no third party involved, but what they are saying, what went wrong according to People, is that her life changed. After they got married, she wanted a different type of life and that life did not include Brad Pitt. What she, what she really wants now <laughs> is to no longer be an actress or part of that Hollywood crowd. She's looking to be almost like an ambassador or, or something on a global, global stage, maybe a politician, maybe something with the children in Africa. So she's really going in that direction and that's not a direction he really cares about. Plus, let's remember, she's taken the children to some of the most dangerous places in the world and this has caused a lot of trouble in their relationship. Because, because Brad wants... He wants them at home and he's much more a family guy, much more traditional. He was brought up in a very different way to Angelina. So that's what, what People Magazine are saying. Now our friends over at In Touch, now they get dishy. So In Touch are saying that things there are really, really, really bad and that now Angelina is going to destroy Brad Pitt. Oh. 
that Angelina knows all the dish. Horrible for the kids, but good Horrible for our for business. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, by the way, wasn't there supposed to be a TV special in the works? You're absolutely right. So what happened is NBC were rushing together a two-hour special on Brad and Angelina. They asked me to be part of it, so they, they arranged this special over the weekend. Their producers worked like crazy to make it happen. And then at the last minute, the special was pulled. Why? And the reason, the reason that they don't want to go forward is that NBC, like everybody else, wants to get the first interview with Brad and Angelina. And they are frightened that if they upset them, by doing a special with gossipy fools like me, that Angelina won't, won't want to be part of that. Oh, so, so they want to sit civilized, like Barbara Walters style. Yes, yes. Diane but they're not Sawyer. the only ones that have called. Oprah Winfrey's called. Everybody, Matt Lauer's called. Everybody. Now this is the number one guest. I, I see her doing her one on one with her friend Ann Curry from Ann Curry, uh, yes, from NBC Today yes. Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or she was there. She was there, but I think she's still at NBC, but that's her friend, so maybe that will happen. I don't see Brad sitting down with anybody but George Clooney and a, and a keg. <laughs> <laughs> to be a fly on the wall. Okay, so what, what's uh, the latest with Life & Style magazine? What oh, do they Life say? Life & Style, they have an amazing story this week about our friend Leo. So Leonardo DiCaprio might finally have found the one. We've seen him date a ton of models, a lot of models, but finally he's dating this young girl, 24 years old. She is a Danish model, very pretty. Her, her name is Nina, and they're saying what, what is different about her and the other models that he, he's dated is that it's not just her looks, that she makes him enjoy life. She, she, they, they're connected on a personal level. They're sweet. Like they, uh, they laugh with each other. So now they're saying they are planning a wedding for next year. So they are alleging that next year he's going to walk down the aisle. It's going to be a small wedding. He, of course, he's going to invite Kate Winslet from Titanic. Where's it going to be? It's, they say on a, on a small private island. They, they don't specifically say where, but, they, but this will not be a Kardashian wedding. This will be a very, very small, low affair on does a private mom, island. Does, does Mrs. DiCaprio Great like question. Not like only... Her? He's 41 years old. She wants to have grandkids. So I think she's just thrilled that he's met someone that, that is a nice young lady. His and, mom um, is good for him. She's good. And, and, and they say that she likes this, this young girl so much that she's even teaching her how to cook some of Leo's favourite recipes. Um, I don't believe that, <laughs> that they're going to get married. I, 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 they just met in May. Yes, it's a, it's a new one. They, maybe, you know, at 41, maybe, he's won his Oscar now, <coughs> so he doesn't have to worry anymore, <coughs> maybe, about his career. But um, that's the story from, from Life and Style. OK. <laughs> so now, real quick, um, what else is in People magazine? Oh, People. So People magazine got to sit down with Paris Hilton. We haven't heard about her in maybe 10 years or so. Gorgeous. But don't, don't feel bad. This girl has been making millions, if not billions, selling her fragrance around the world. There are over 200 Paris Hilton stores in Asia. Amazing. She's on a 20th fragrance. So what she's telling people is that she's a changed person now, that she's really grown up, she's not a party girl she's anymore. She's like 35 and now. And she's finally happy being alone. She doesn't need a man to make her feel great. And I heard that she doesn't deal with some of the girls that yeah, were in her past life. They asked life. her about some of her ex-friends. We think of them, Kim Kardashian, Nicole Richie. She didn't answer it specifically, but she said that she really just hangs out with her sister and had a slight dish. She said that a lot of people of her past, she trusted too quickly. Well, that's what you do when you're young. But you know what? Paris really does have the sweetest life ever because without having to be on TV right. and trying to be you know, pressing the flesh at uh, places like some of these other girls do to be famous. She's already been there and done that, right. and now she's minding her own business and still looks she really looks good. Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Welcome back, Paris. Welcome back to our show, <laughs> Rob. Thank you. Good I to love see you. It. It looks Thanks for being here, Rob. Shoot, so everybody. More great show for you up next from the CBS drama Madam Secretary, <laughs> Patina Miller is here. Don't go far. We've got lots more great videos for you. Just press here to watch the latest Juicy Hot Topics. Press here for celebrity interviews. Go behind the scenes with our after show or simply subscribe and get them all. I love you for watching.